It's Wednesday, June 18th, 2014. It's been a few weeks since we had a knife review, so we're going to go ahead and do uh, put another one up on the block here, another Shrade. Now, Shrade is calling this their uh, Water Rat Dive Knife. So it's kind of a diver's knife. Um, I have my own specific use for it, and I'll get to that in just a moment here. Um, but we'll go over the, the specs and all that, and we'll, we'll show you what it's all about. Um, as you can see here, it comes with a nice sheath here and uh, some neck rope. So it's obviously you can wear this around your neck and that's actually what I do um, as far as the knife itself it is it's full tang so complete one complete piece of steel now the steel material it's, uh, it's a stainless steel um, but it's uh, the 9CR uh, 14 MOV high carbon steel so pretty good pretty good product I mean pretty good uh, you know it's middle grade not high but it's just what you would expect I mean these retail for $26. So I'll put the link to Shrade below and I'll put the link to Amazon. $26, bucks, it might be a little cheaper on Amazon. Uh, this is probably the best best bargain I've found yet. I mean, all their knives are really, really reasonably priced, but for what you get, I think it's a really excellent price. Um, as far as the knife itself, uh, you can see here you've got, uh, it's obviously a doubled edged spear. Comes into a nice sharp point there. You've got uh, partially serrated right here. Now this, there's, it's not sharp there, so it's sharp there, serrations there. Then the other side you've got the uh, just complete edge. And then you've got a um, line cutter here is what they call that, right there. So this is similar to uh, what I use for like the wire ties and what, a seat belt cutter. Again, this is a dive knife, so more than likely this is going to be used for a seat belt, rope, you know, anything you're going to have to get off of a, you know, potentially drowning victim. So it's got that. It is pretty sharp. Again, I haven't used this for every day. It would be a perfect everyday knife. Unfortunately, with my uniform at work, um, it doesn't really fit that. Um, but I'll, I'll tell you in a minute what I use it for. So again, I don't use it for every day. Uh, I, I have many knives as, as you've seen the videos and each one has its own specific pur uh, purpose for me. Uh, I would love to carry a lot of them every day but I think that would probably weigh down my pockets uh, quite a bit and uh, you know. Um, the handle itself it is a it's it's like a rubber let me see they call it a TPE molded handle so it's a rubber rubber handle again full tang rubber handle it's got a nice feel to it um, if you're a diver or what have you, if it's wet, I mean it's rubbery, it's not going to slip out of your hands, it's not, a, it's not plastic, anything like that. It's definitely going to stick in your hands. And you can see you've got some little ribs there to actually even help with that even a little bit more. Um, now that we got the close-up here, the part number on it is WR2. So pretty easy. Um, go to Amazon or go to Shrade's site, put in WR2. You can see all the specs, the price. Again, 26 bucks. Uh, it's like 26.97, I think. 26.66 uh, retail. So, chances are Amazon. I haven't looked. They're going to have this a little bit cheaper. Um, we'll go to the specs here, and then we'll tell you what I use it for. Um, according to the website, it weighs 0.25 pounds. Now, I don't know if that's just the knife or the knife and the sheet, but we will weigh both. So, the knife by itself, 0.18. So it's got to be everything, and at 0.25, we'll weigh it and make sure it weighs that. It's it's not heavy. You wear it around your neck, you're not going to notice. So, you've got the rope and everything there, 0.254. So right on the nose. Now the website lists the overall length as 4.3. Obviously, we know that's not true. So that must be a typo on the website. Um, I haven't measured it yet, but that's that's bigger than 4.3 inches. I would say I don't know. Um, let's see here. So seven inches total. So obviously, let me see. The handle is three and a quarter, and the blade is. I'm sorry, the handle is three and three quarters, and the blade is three and a quarter. So I don't know where the 4.3 came from. I'm not sure. I'm measuring it from tip, uh, from point to, to the lanyard. Actually, I forgot to even mention that. You've got a lanyard loop right there, right on the end there. So. Seven inches total, so if you're getting this, if you're looking on the website and you're thinking you're going to get a knife the size of this handle, a little teeny thing, not the case. It is seven inches, but it's not big. You can see it's good size, perfect really as far as size. Not too big, not too, 
small. You know, I don't like the huge knives, but uh, uh, this one's right in the middle there. Um, as far as the use, the, my use, uh, again, I said I don't carry it every day because uh, I wear like a uniform for work. And I would have to unbutton my shirt, and you know, I certainly can't go to a client wearing this in, you know, hanging off my neck. Um, I could, it's not against the law here in Ohio because it's not, uh, you don't really have to necessarily conceal carry a knife. Now, you don't really want an open blade out in public, but uh, I could wrap this around my neck and be perfectly fine. But uh, I used to bike a lot, and I've started again. Uh, not as much as I'd like, but uh, what I do is inside my jersey, you know, I wrap this around my neck and uh, have it uh, inside my jersey, or my shirt, rather, and uh, I don't even know it's there. I mean, it's not heavy. I, I rode with it uh, last week, and then uh, a couple times, and then I rode a uh, pretty good distance on Sunday. Didn't even realize, you know, totally forgot about it when I got home. And uh, again, Monday, I rode with it. And I don't wear those, you know, Lycra, those real uh, revealing <laughs> biker shorts. I wear like a mountain bike short, but still, I don't want to have something fall out of my pocket. Uh, even a good clip knife can potentially fall out of my pocket. And uh, I'm riding a road bike, and it's a nice paved course out by the house here. It's like uh, we got quite a bit of mileage. And there's a lot of kids, you know, that uh, go with riding with their parents. And I don't want to carry something like, uh, you know, this. That could potentially fall out on the road and a little kid will pick it up and you know possibly hurt themselves nothing again i mean it's any knife not just this particular knife it's just clipped and being in the shorts you know if i get going at a good clip 25 miles an hour or something like that i mean this could fall out and i would never know it and i would feel horrible if some kid cut himself or hurt somebody else with a knife with this one there's really no chance of that i mean it is in there now if you'll notice there are little squares on the handle here. See those? Hopefully that's focusing. A little, little bit trouble focusing today. There we go. There's little squares. And inside the case, or the sheath rather, see if we can get, uh, I don't know if it would be, yeah, see this indentation? You got a square indentation on both sides. That is what holds this bad boy in here. Now, I don't know over time if those will wear out. They don't feel like it. I mean, these are actually hard plastic. The handle's rubber. Um, and it's... I mean, it's not... I mean, I'm literally trying. It may not look like it, but it's not flying out of there. Um, I mean, you have to give it some, some force to actually get it out of there, which is a good thing because, uh, you know, you don't want it falling out, hitting somebody, hitting the ground, or, again, a kid picking it up. So for me, it works excellent for the biking thing. Um, you know, I, I like to have some protection because you never know. I mean, a lot of it is a wooded area. You never know what you're going to run into, whether it's a person, an animal, whatever. Um, obviously, tucked in the shirt, it's not going to be the quickest thing to get to, but you just never know. Um, you know, at least you got some protection anywhere. You're on a bike, you're not going to be quick getting anything out anyway, whether it's a gun, whatever. Um, so, for me, this is just perfect. Um, if I need to cut a twig or, you know, cut my hand off. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. But anything like that, you know, uh, if you've ever heard of the book, uh, ah, shoot, I forget, where the guy basically cuts his own hand off or arm. I don't remember the name of it now. But he used a knife, um, a doll knife. This is pretty sharp, so if I broke my arm and was caught under a rock, um, you know, I could certainly do that. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't happen. Um, but anyway, again, it's uh, all in what you need it for. Uh, for me, every knife has its purpose. This one has a purpose. Uh, you know, uh, they all have a purpose. Uh, just this one's not an everyday one. For me, I would suggest, you know, if you're working on construction or, you know, you can, uh, I mean, just about any job, you could probably wear this under your shirt. It's just I have a button-up shirt. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me to carry it. And I always have a knife on my side at work, so I don't really need this as well. I would love to carry it. It's just uh, the bike riding thing. That was my intention when getting this, is for bike rides, things like that. Something to throw around your neck real quick. You know, if you're wearing, uh, you know, going back to the diving, you're wearing swim trunks. You know, if you're a, uh, a lifeguard or something like that, where are you going to clip a knife? You know, um, this is perfect. Just wrap it around your neck and go. Now, I've seen some other manufacturers have smaller ones, which is fine, um, but to me, this is a really good size to get just about anything done.
that you need to get done. Anyway, that's it. So we'll post uh, links to Shrade below, Amazon, and uh, hopefully this helped you, uh, you know, get a feel of the knife, especially the sizing. Again, that must be just a mistake on their website. Uh, I'll shoot them an email and let them know that, uh, you know, that it says 4.3 total. I'm not sure what they're talking about unless they're talking about the sheath, uh, which, eh, still more. I don't know where 4.3 came from, honestly. Uh, anyway, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.